Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about mode, which is one of the most important concept in statistics, okay? Mean, median, mode, these concepts are very, very important in statistics related course, whether you are considering uh, a different application of statistics like in machine learning or in wireless and mobile communication and it, the list will go on, okay? So, in my this video, what I am going to discuss, how we can calculate mode of an input integer array without using any inbuilt function, okay? So, see, here the question is find the mode of the vector. As I'm saying, no vector is binomial. Example 1 is, suppose input is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Then output should be 4. Example 2, in, if input is 7, 1, 2, 7, then output is 7. Why? Because 7, the frequency of 7 is maximum in this input array. Similarly, if you consider this particular array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, the... Uh, the frequency of 4 is maximum, alright? So, what to do? The algorithm is quite simple. First, you calculate the frequency of each distinct integers in the input array. Then you check for which frequency is maximum and print that in this way without using the inbuilt function mode, we can calculate the mode of integer array, okay? See here, the code is quite simple. See. CLC clear all close all obviously we have to write if you want you can write warning off also then x equal to input enter the vector okay we are taking input from the user then w equal to sort of x we are using the sort inbuilt function for sorting purpose you can use bubble sort or any other sorting algorithm also no issue in that i have just written to make the program sorted okay anyway now now after this this whole program is basically nothing but the Frequent getting frequency of each integers which I have already discussed in my previous video if you want Please go through the link given in the description. We have to define three empty array one for storing distinct integers one for storing its corresponding frequency one for Storing what one for storing uh, this y probably we have not used right? Yeah, we, why we have used okay, so let me remove this particular part It is not required for this for our this particular program. So why is not required? I have just taken my earlier uh, program in this particular case so that I have just removed this bit modification I have to do. Then C equal to 1 we are defining. Then this whole part is just to fill the U and P array with distinct integers and corresponding its frequency. Then U equal to U and W length of W you know for the last element the fold do cannot enter so that we have to use uh, by this way and P equal to PC alright. Then max equal to P1, then up to this uh, P equal to PC, up to this whatever we have discussed in our previous video as it is. Now, what we have to do, we have to check what is the maximum value in the P and according to that, the corresponding U we have to show. That's what mode says, right? Now, max equal to P of 1 I have defined and fax equal to U of 1 I have defined. Just I have taken the first two values of the two in uh, array U and P in max and fax variable. Then I will use updation method that is for I equal to 1 colon length of P, if max less than P of I, then max equal to P of I. That is update the value if you are finding something which is greater than max. Then max equal to that. Then fax equal to U of I. By this way, by this updation procedure at the end of the execution of this particular for loop, what will happen in the fax variable, our mode will be stored. Okay. You can write display fax also to get the output. Otherwise, you can directly write fax in comment window and you can get the output. All right. So, now let me take the input from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Okay, copy this and paste it here. So, see, uh, here don't give equal to, otherwise it will give error. Just enter. Now you write fetch. See, output is 4. Okay, which is exactly matching with our desired one. Next one, let us check. So, 7, 1, 2, 7. Okay, just what you need to know, just you need to know how you can get the frequency of each distinct integers in the input array. That's all. Okay. So, like here, if you enter, you write fax, enter C7, mode is 7, right? And one more case, suppose I am giving user 
uh, it, according to my choice, I am giving one vector 1, 1, 1, 1, 4 times 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5 times 8, 8, 8, okay? That is, a mode should be 2 because the frequency of 2 is maximum. Let us check. Enter, you write facts, enter, see, output is 2. So, in this way, without using the direct inbuilt mode function, what we do, we can calculate the mode of the integer array given input by the user, okay? Just you need to know how you can get the frequency of each distinct integers in the input array. For that, already I have uh, made two different videos, one in Java, another one is MATLAB. If you want, you can check in the description, okay? Because uh, you should have a clear idea in the algorithm because if you have... Uh, idea good idea in algorithm you can implement same program in different language according to your choice that is whether that may be c or c plus plus or java or python whatever okay but algorithm should be clear so try to clear the algorithm and try to understand the program also implement it try with your own test cases and check whether it is working or not and if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section thank you for watching